All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia core? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's all right for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second in command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins, it couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this end for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person?
matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. The magistrate can do whatever he wants really leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Looks like there's bound to be a few power mad Imperials no matter where you go. What we saw on the way into town here, that happened all the time back in the lower quarter. I'm glad I live outside the Empire. I don't think I could stand this very long. Why would the magistrate do these things? Hey, we don't need to let the bad vibes in this city rub off on us. Exactly. All right.
The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. 